Hey guys, for Second Realms here today, and I'm going to show you today of how to download and install the new Minecraft 1.2.4. I'm a little bit late, but I'm going to do a full tutorial on it. I'm going to show you how to see your own Java, like what Java you're using, and if you're a 32-bit or 64-bit computer. Click on one of the three download links in the description box, and I'll bring you to AdFly, and then one of the redirects, or all the redirects, from AdFly will bring you to a new thing. And it looks like Mediafire changed their download setting a little bit, and the download is right up here in the top right hand corner. I'm just going to click on Download. Hopefully that's the same for you guys. But anyways, whenever you get this box right here, click Save File and hit OK. It should put it right on your desktop and you'll be good. Alright, I'm just going to pause it. Alright guys, I'm back and that took about one minute or less to download it. And now that I have it and it's on my desktop, I will get right to it. But if the Mediafire one does not work for you, click on one of the other two download links that will bring you to minus.com or get, get like ge.tt.com, whatever. Both of them work. Anyways, I have it right here. I'm going to double click on it, make sure to have WinRAR or anything to unzip a file. And you'll see all of these folders and documents right here. Alright, so now you see two of them with Java 7 and two with Java 6. One 32-bit, one 64-bit for each of them. And then the client. The client this time is just an EXC thing that allows you to go to whatever Minecraft patch you want to by opening it up and clicking on the patch and hit patching. Of course, it will get rid of every single mod that you have on your client. So there's also a README that tells you where to go download plugins since this is Craft Bucket, meaning that you can have plugins. But anyways, I'm going to show you how to see your own Java. Go to your start screen, and if you have the search bar, it does not matter, just click on Control Panel. And now, if you don't have Java, make sure to download it. I'll have that in the description box as well. Click on it. Alright, so now you have this Control Panel for Java. Click on the little Java tab up here, and right here, click View. Now I'm just, I know I have Java 7, so I'm going to say that this 1.7 platform means that I have one the Java 7, instead of say, having it say 1.6, which may not have 1.6, or Java 6. So now that I know I have Java 7, I need to know if I have a 6, eh, sorry, 32-bit or 64-bit computer. I'm going to go into my start screen and click on run, or since I have the search bar down here, I'm going to type in dxdiag. Alright, you see that? dxdiag, and then hit enter. Alright, so now this is your system diagnostics tool, and yeah. So as you can see right here, it says Windows 7 Home Premium 32-bit, so I have a 32-bit computer. So now I know that I need to use the Java 7 30 why did, why did I say 32-bit? I meant 64-bit. That's what it said. I had 64-bit. So I need to drag this Java 7 64-bit version onto my desktop. Alright, so follow me. I just dragged it right onto my desktop, and now it's right here. I'm going to move it right there. And that's all. So now you're going to open it up, and you're going to have these two thingies right here. This is the thing you get from bucket.org, and this I had to write out myself, which says pretty much... Six, run it on a 64-bit computer with Java 7 right there. That will be different in all the other folders, so yeah. All you have to do is double-click on Start Server, and it will create all of the folders in here. And OPs. Alright, so this, you don't have to do this since you have the command thingy, but I'm just going to put my name in there like that for second realm, so that will OP me. And this is the command thing I was talking about. Normally you just type your name in right there. Or no, you type in OP Forsaken Realms or OP your name and then just hit enter and it'll OP you right away. Alright, so now servers properties file. Allow another true. A level name world, okay. Enable query, that's false. Allow flight false so you don't have people with a fly hack or fly mod on your server. Server port, um, that's fine, that's default. Level type, it's default or flat. The flat world is only like five or so layers, and then it hits bedrock, so I just like it on default, because you get all the hills and cool looking levels. 
Um, this doesn't really matter. Level C doesn't matter. Server IP. All right, so now your server IP, if you're using Hamachi, you're just going to copy and paste your Hamachi IP right there. But then for people, in order for people to join, you're going to have to have them join your network. So now for me, since I've port forwarded my router to allow this port, the default port that I showed you right there, the 25565, it will allow me to put my external IP right here so then people can connect by typing in that IP and they will not have to go through another program to get on my server like Hamachi. And this way I can customize what it looks like and what it really looks like when our people get on, it'll look like this. Forsakencraft.servegame.com. That's what it'll really look like, but really it's all this num all these numbers. Alright, max build height 256, that's good. Spawn in PCs, okay, whitelist, okay. Spawn animals, okay, online mode. Alright. So the true means only premium users can get on and false means people with the cracked version or the free version can get on too. I'm just going to keep it as true because I did buy Minecraft. PvP true, that's player versus player, that means we can kill each other. Difficulty now goes from 0 to 3. 0 being peaceful, 1 being easy, 2 being medium, 3 being hard. I'm going to leave it at 3. Game mode 0, that means survival, 1 means creative. I'm going to go ahead and keep it at 0. Max players 20, I'm just going to go with 5. Spawn monsters true, generate structures true, and message of the day. Let's do subscribe to Forsaken Realms. Alright, now make sure to save it. And now we're going to restart the server. So we have this right here, we're just going to simply type in stop. And that will stop and seize everything on the server. Now just double click on start server again and it will load up all those new properties that we just changed and we'll make them work. Alright, so now that's how you set up the server and it's very easy. I'll do it, I think I already have a tutorial on how to install plugins. All you do is go to bucket.org and click on whatever plugin you want, download it, get the .jar file and put it in the plugins folder. But now that we have our server up and running, let's start up Minecraft and log in. Alright, multiplayer, and here it is. Alright, so now here is the server, and to prove that it is a 1.2.4 server, let me change my game mode and show you. Alright, so as you can see, the new blocks, the new planks, uh, what else? There's a few new things. All this stuff right here came in on 1.2 which I've already showed you guys in my other tutorials. The thing that I was having the most fun with the other day was with a sponge, wherever I, I just saw it, right here. I never knew this until like last night. Oh, come on. No, I guess it was just on that server I was on. With the server I was on, it sucked up all the water around it and it was really awesome. Not sure what plugin that was, even if it was, yeah, if it was a plugin or not. But anyways, guys, this is 1.2.4, and there's a lot of new bug fixes, which I can't really list them all because I don't have the list up with me. There's a few new items, as you, I already pointed out to you, and it's really a lot of fun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy 1.2.4, and I'm gonna try to get out a lot more tutorial videos for you guys. And this looks like a pretty awesome lake looking type sea thingy majig all right guys i'll see you later have a good day give me a funky ass bass line